Hi, I'm Tana Lubiano. As you know, for children, divorce can be sad, confusing, stressful. They can get angry with mom and dad and themselves. But you as a parent can make this process and its effects a lot less painful for your children. Impact of divorce is long-lasting on children. When it comes to talk to children about divorce, many parents freeze up and in some cases avoid the conversation. Because children are very sensitive to perceiving things that are going on around them. What are some of the most important things when talking to our kids about getting divorced? To be on the same page about it so that they're hearing the same thing from their mother and their father. Just talking to children in a language that they can understand. Mom and dad might not live together and mom and daddy are not going to be married but mommy and daddy are always your mommy and daddy. That's very important to um, remind the children because that's the first fear. And although parents should be honest with their children in this situation, you shouldn't be an open book. Details of why the marriage is not functioning are not necessarily ones that the children need to hear. And I think it's important not to blame each other, no? Absolutely, so that they're not exposed to some of the arguments and disappointments from the relationship. It's a burden for the children. Really. They could feel it's their fault. How can we help our children grieve? It's a normal part of what they're experiencing and a normal part of divorce. So there are things that mommy and daddy are working on that don't have anything to do with you. Uh, is important for the children to hear. You should talk to your kids about logistics. You don't want to overwhelm them, but you definitely want to uh, eliminate as much anxiety as possible. You know, we will, we have decided to live here, or we will stay in this house, or you know, things that will help them with some of those anxieties so they can not focus on that as much. And if you notice some of these signs, consult an expert as soon as possible. Behavior, so you may see children having a hard time um, sort of focusing or being in control of themselves or kind of getting into trouble with school. Seeing your child really start looking depressed or angry or acting out, then you, don't, you want to intervene as soon as possible. Make sure to provide a space for conversation with your children. Time to allow them to, to try to express what they're feeling, and that can be, um, you know, sometimes through reading stories together or drawing together or playing together. But love and reassurance are a priority. You're still a parent even if you're not married to each other. But the number one advice is that you take care of yourself during this painful process so you can be there for your kids, get support, and know when to seek help. From San Diego, California, for Mommyverse, I'm Tyler Lubiano.